what's up. Who's here today? Who got first? Do I even have my mic on? Hold on. What's up, Swolf? What's up, Ronnie Mace? There we go. Now we get the right mic. I had a feeling that mic wasn't on. What's good? What's good? We're all set. And away we go. So we're 4 0 so far. Let's take a look at these programs real, real quick. How are you guys doing today? 25, 24 innings away from Babe. Got to do this one game mission. Uh, I got about halfway done with these guys. I have like one extra base hit left with O'Neill. And then I have Luchesi, Kopech, and Tucker. So I'm just doing those missions. And Robinson's almost done. I got to get these two one game missions, which have been really frustrating because Alomar's halfway done. Larkin's like halfway done as well. And Fingers is two. I'm two saves away from Goose. Goose is all done. Just the Fingers missions left. So two, two strikeouts away. So we'll get that probably tomorrow to a debut. <clears throat> what you guys up to today? Projects going well, Radames. I got the glasses on for you today. I just started this run about like 40 minutes ago. We're already 4 0, so that's looking good. See how it goes. I think I've got this Rognet Odor about four times in a row. Team glass is nice. Work is going good. That's good. Got home like 30 minutes ago, so just been watching some YouTube. Sounds good. You get any BR runs the last couple days? guy that I faced had immortal uh, Cal Ripken so one of the worst immortal hitters that you can get the dude had him playing shortstop and he made an error a routine ground ball okay so this guy's got Jose Chris Bryant John Carl Stanton Aguilar Gaddis that's a decent lineup but yeah this guy made an error with uh, with immortal Cal Ripken with a runner on so it was two runners on two outs and then CJ Cron hit a free run home run to win the game 12 on Sunday nice who'd you get because I saw you had a you had a stream that the title said 11 and 0 so I wasn't sure if you got that third for that 12 and 0 I assumed you did this bullpen is the worst bullpen in history by the way we've got a uh, Wade Davis silver Everything else is bronze and no lefties. It's going to be really interesting. Ichiro and Yao. Nice. That one game lagged you out in a 12-0 run? Rip. All right. I should not look at the chat while I'm throwing a pitch. I didn't stream yesterday because I had a lot of work to do, but anxiety was just through the roof this weekend, so I barely got anything done. I had my PlayStation on too, and I probably played for like two hours at night. I played the uh, the tournament with you guys yesterday in the morning, and then I had my PlayStation on probably for like 12 hours, and probably didn't play for eight of those hours. I should have just turned it off immediately. What's up, Card Gaming? How are you? 
I can imagine you'd be pissed about that, Wolf. I don't even blame you. Carter was there when it happened. What game number was it? Alright, if he swings at that pitch through the game, we'll be okay. 9 and 1 your BR and Koji is 12 game. Nice. All these 12 wins are like falling hard. I had to sell, uh, I did a sell now on um, Jim Edmonds. I sold him for like 71k, which isn't bad. But I have a feeling he's going to drop pretty soon. He already went down from like 100k when I got him to like 90k on the buy now. So, I didn't really want to hold on to him in case he does what, like, Warren Spawn did. Warren Spawn is now, like, 20k, and when I got him, he was about 70k. And I sold him in, in between for, like, 50k. So, I didn't want the same thing to happen with Jim Edmonds, so now that we've got, like, Christian Yelich and those guys, Edmonds isn't as great of a pick, so. 11-0, and 0, oh my god. That's terrible. Only got Yount because that stupid freeze. Shoot, man. I can't hit with this Buner card. Only, yeah, PCI is on. I've been trying to teach myself to hit with the PCI on the, the last few days I've been grinding. Um, it hasn't been too bad, but I'm really late on a lot of pitches. I've been squaring up stuff a lot more nicely, but I have a hard time hitting for power. I also have like an 8 second or 8, eight millisecond uh, lag on this monitor, I think. It's some, somewhere between 5 and 8. So it's enough to go from like solid contact to like late and on top of that like i i just wait a little bit longer when i'm when i'm using the pci so solid contact but a lot of base hits up the middle the other way you know about my christian yellow's finest sorry when the first came out i sold it got trout and budget squad nice that's exactly what you got to do Perfect stealth clan. Who else you got on the budget squad? Mike Trout's like 130, so you probably used about half of the Christian Yelich. He's got Wade Davis as well. Is this Diamond Wade Davis? It's not, it's silver. I got a ball, one strike. Nope, that's off the plate. PCI will be off in the next half hour. <laughs> well, I won the first games with the PCI on, but I agree with you. Um, especially if I don't get hits in the first few innings, I'm probably going to turn it off. Actually, yesterday when I played Useful, um, I had PCI off for the first inning, and then I had it on for the next two. I don't think I got a hit in that game. I agree with you, though. It's definitely not staying on this whole run, that's for sure. Although last time I did a, a PCI run, I went 9-0. Or 9-1, I guess. I was 1-1 one one already with a PCI off. And then I turned it on and got like 8-1 or something. It was an interesting game, yeah. Dude, I couldn't throw a pitch in that game. Literally every single pitch I threw you went down the middle. And I was surprised you didn't have about 8 runs in that game. Because I didn't close the roof? Is that why? I popped up because you didn't close the roof? I popped up on like every pitch. And I don't think that affected my location. The wind was blowing in. Yeah, but like... We were both popping up. It wasn't like we were hitting deep flyouts, if I remember correctly. If you guys didn't see it, we were doing a, a tournament for Sports Huddle, who's in here from time to time. And me and Swolf got to the finals. Swolf won, but it was only 1-0, to so I don't feel too bad about it. GG, though. Should really bring in a different pitcher. Daniel Hudson is spotless for me. Now that I say that, he's about to give up a home run, but he's been in a couple runs for me. Been pretty good. That's gone. You don't remember either. Harrison. 
Dude, I ordered McDonald's this morning. Well, in the afternoon. And I got like a, a smoothie, a couple sandwiches, and a couple biscuits or something. And the delivery driver calls me. She's at the restaurant. She's like, hey, hey, the, um, they don't have the smoothie that you wanted. So I was like, okay, cancel it. And she apparently cancels my entire order. She sees that I have two sandwiches, two biscuits, and a drink that they don't have, and they can't. She cancels the entire order when I say cancel it, and then they charge me for the food. And I call her back. I'm like, "Yo, this is when I. This isn't what we said." And uh, she hung. She hung up on me. So now I'm on the hook for like 20 bucks. Didn't get any of the food. I was pretty mad. When's the last time I ate a he healthy meal? You, I eat healthy meals every day. Last night for dinner, I had. Pasta, chicken, veggies. I don't order out that much. What's up, Joey? How are you? Got that big JD pull yesterday. Is he gonna be? Is he making the squad, Joey? Or is he making the starting lineup anyway? So if I eat healthy all the time, I just try my best not to eat healthy. Then I get bored. Shinsu Chu, I've squared up the ball a few times with him and it doesn't go anywhere. The Yankees need to win one? Is that what needs to happen? I don't think so. <clears throat> Alright. Better have bats going on here. Uh, I'm going to say. Ian Desmond's about to hit a line drive down the right field line. Never mind. Does he have enough speed? No. Hit too hard. Alright. At least for the home team. Maybe their luck will leave and the Jays can do something. That's uh, that's some wishful thinking right there. Dude, what happened when the Jays had like the best lineup in the league? It was like Donaldson, Tulowitzki when he was good. Uh, who else did they have at the time? They, they had like four guys at the top that were, that were just like amazing. They were all righties. Oh, Bautista was really good at the time. And Encarnacion, that's what it was. Those four guys. And uh, was that the year that they didn't bring in... Wait. No, they did beat the, the Orioles that year, right? The year that they didn't bring in Zach Britton. Your outfielders are 85, Gomez and Williams, 7 to 8 with 5 home runs. Nice. They couldn't pitch. There's an ace price you can pitch in the playoff. True, true. Yeah, they just uh, fell apart a little bit. How's that 87 Williams hitting for you, Joey? I've used him in like I think an events run and he was pretty good actually. In once again. Chris there are two Alright, he's already got the top of his lineup back up. I don't think a J started with an ERA under four. Ouch. Oh, he's running. We got Russell Martin though. Okay. I have Francisco Cervelli on the bench. I have Jesus Aguilar playing third base, who does not have a secondary at third base. So I'm going to see how that goes. So far, he hasn't really had to make any plays. Alright, if I don't get any work done here, I'm probably going to go no PCI for a bit. Betting 394 and 325 at-bats with 11 home runs. I guess it's worth it. I mean, he doesn't have great power number against righty, so that makes sense. But if he's betting 394, that's pretty redonkulous. That's how I'm with Yogi Berra. He does nothing but hit line drives for me, but unfortunately it's right at people. And then he doesn't hit home runs at all. Freaking Chris Davis, man. This is the common card off the bench. Hey, Timmy, how are you, man? I am good. Actually, I'm okay. Not feeling too well. 
had a not great weekend productivity wise and that made me not feel good but the good news is we're 5-0 in BR so we're going to keep trucking playing soccer today gone it was it was a freaking blast from common Chris Davis playing soccer Friday okay what position do you play go to your game history Um, standings. What am I going to see here, Swolf? It better be good. Nothing found. What am I looking at? Jays for life. You suck at online play. Uh, try to find the game that looks like my 12 0 game. This one? No. When did you change your name to Blaze? Harsh? Harsh is a really good player. Wait, this is 622. Never mind. Here we go. Is this Dan? When did you play Dan? The Wumbo Lick Storm? What am I looking at? Stream is good luck. I just threw a perfect game versus the Rays on All-Star with Brett Saberhagen. GG, man. For Special Olympic States at Villanova. Dope. Is it like a... Is the Special Olympics have a tournament right now? Are you playing like a friendly or something? It was an 8-inning game. This is from Sunday, you said? Dude, when was Sunday? Sunday was yesterday, okay. What am I looking at, Swolf? There we go. Tornado? I don't think that's it. This one. This one was a freeze-off? Rip. You only had one hit? That's crazy. Friday will start. Dope. Best of luck, man. Hope you guys kill it out there. All right, going back to BR. Why couldn't you just tell me that's well? Why did I have to look at your game history? Because he quit out. Oh, you hit a walk off homer with. Oh, okay, okay. So it didn't show what happened. If SDS does the postseason program last year, the main card will be Steve Pierce. Oh, you hit a home run with a common. Nice, nice. Well, Timmy, I got a lot of tip videos if you think you suck at online play. I got a lot of tip videos if you think that something's helpful, let me know. Um, if there's something you struggle with in particular, I can probably link you to a video as well. I got a couple of commands in there. You yeah, no hit a lot online. Wind was blowing in like 11 or 12. Dang. And the, and the common hit through it. Nice. Check it out. All right. There are a lot of, like a lot of the stuff early in the, in the, videos list a lot of recent stuff is just streams but a lot of the, the early stuff has a lot of uh, hitting videos and some pitching videos as well hopefully they help okay. uh last year the main card was who again i forget this guy's got a good record but i am the home team again so that's nice Eric Bauer, Donaldson, Yurko, Muncie, Hill, Tucker, Sucre, Gordon. The bottom of the lineup's not great. Top of the lineup's okay. Surprisingly, this guy is championship series, but he had a pretty good record. Maybe he's just trolling. Maybe he made championship series one time and just uses the banner like Swolf did. I think he was using a pennant race banner for like a few months. Or weeks. Trying to troll people. What am I doing? 
No double switch. Nobody came in. George Springer was the main card. Okay, yeah, yeah. I wonder if they'll do like an Immortal or something. Or like a 98 card, maybe? That's the thing for me, is like, what can you give Steve Pierce? Um... Because did he do like that well in the postseason, or was it just like the World Series? Because I haven't looked at the numbers. I want to go look at the numbers for all these guys. Because I feel like there's some guys that probably got knocked out in the second round that will get cards, but they just didn't have the, the full playoff series to really show their card. Like show what would be on their card. So it might be kind of weird. Like the finest, at least you get like a full month's worth of like evaluation um, and there will be some cards in the postseason where like oh you're go to center field Pierce was World Series MVP Springer was in 2017 yeah I I hear what you're saying the difference between those two guys is the defense so like can you really give D, uh, Steve Pierce the number one card a diamond card with whatever defense he plays because crap um, that was the first run Daniel Daniel Hudson gave up. Can you really give Steve Pierce a diamond card with his defense? And I don't know like if his defense was good enough during the World Series because it was just a small amount of time. They may boost his defensive numbers because of that, but who knows. But George Springer has the defense to play for a diamond. That's the difference. Because that's, that's why, like, Chris Davis, everybody wanted Chris Davis to get a finest card for the, Chris Davis from the Athletics. But his de defense is bad. Like, his his live series card is basically what he did during the regular season. So despite him having one of the better seasons in the league, uh, it still didn't warrant him getting a diamond card. That's the only issue or, like, the only reason why Steve Pierce might not get that card. Maybe up his fielding the same as live series and upgrade his hitting. Yeah, his hitting could get way up there. Like uh, maybe J.D. Martinez type. Maybe not up there. I don't know what his ISO and things like that were. He was just very clutch. Yes. Keep his fielding the same as live series. Upgrade his hitting. Yeah, if they do it, he can definitely get a gold card. But then he also has like that breakout card, the gold one for the Orioles, where his offense is like pretty good. Okay, it's like 90s against lefties and 70s against righties. I think the power versus righties could go up. I don't know if it'll boost his card enough. Do you know what the overall on that card is, by the way, Joey? If it's close enough to a diamond, it could happen. Alright, is that two outs or is that one out? Two outs. Okay. Try to get another base hit up the middle. Hmm. Shinsu Chu is up next. Nice. Really wanted to go home, but he's got Yelich in left. Up. And he's bringing in Necro. Probably didn't need to swing that. Is it tied? It's tied. Alright, the bottom of his lineup's not as good. So, he's not going to go yard, but also can't let him walk or get on base. Carlos Gomez stood there for no reason. That should have been an out. Should have been Gomez's ball. Up 
See if you get him at third. Nope. What other cards do you think other than Steve Pierce would get the nod? Jeez. He's in right field. Buner, I think. Okay. Jackie Bradley Jr. That's a good pick. Okay, got him. Um, Bradley. Who else was good? Probably a couple pitchers. David Price, obviously. Sale could get one. They could give uh, Kershaw a bronze card. Or common. Who's good in the first rounds? I'm going to look this up right now, actually. Alright, Pierce batted 333, three home runs, and eight RB on the World Series. 289, 4, and 11 in the postseason. Okay. Do you know how many at-bats he got? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Cole Hammer's relief pitcher card? Did he pitch in for the Cubs? Cubs only played one game, right? That'd be interesting. I think uh, they probably won't. He didn't have a big enough sample size if... I don't even remember what he did. Get out of here. All right. Um, who else? Pitching-wise, who is a good closer? Kenley Jansen can't get one. Kimbrough can't get one. Um, probably Hader. Hader, do you think you get another card? He's already got three diamonds, right? He probably deserves one. He could be the one guy that gets four diamond cards. That'd be crazy. This guy's got some lag. All right, so we got the number two hitter. Daniel Murphy's going to lead off the bottom of the third. Yeah, they do, but, like, not more than three usually. If they do three, then it's pretty much the max. Welcome back, Wolf. Hamels went two innings pitch, two hits, one K in extra innings. Well, Evaldi might get one. If they're going to give a starter a relief pitcher card, it might be Evaldi. He's also got a player of the month card, though. Swolf, who do you think is going to get uh, postseason cards? So far, we've got, obviously, Steve Pierce, Jackie Bradley Jr. I'm thinking also Dave, David Price. Um, Full count. Joey says Cole Hamels. I don't really see that. I think Evaldi might get one. Um, because a lot of stuff, like a lot of these cards, I think, could go based off of moments and like clutchness rather than pure numbers. Evaldi's definitely going to get one. Um, so Wolf, what about cards from uh, teams that got knocked out early, like maybe first or second round? 
think anybody gets one from there. I just think the sample size is too small to give cards for those players. Probably should have gone Wade Davis. One and one. So, the go-ahead run that he scored was a pop-up to left field. And my left fielder didn't get to it, but it wasn't his ball. It was Carlos Gomez's ball, but Gomez never ran for it. So, I got hosed on that one. What's up, any of you? Chrome, how's it going? The grind is real. Yeah, last year Springer hit five home runs. He had hit five home runs with a Springer card. Oh, yeah. I don't think I even attempted it. I was already done with missions at that point. That's a good swing. Could make this play. Nice. I don't think I was going to get him at first. Chu's got a good arm. Shortstop has a good enough arm. All right, this is a uh, bronze Hoffman, not diamond. Pierce gets the main card. He'll probably have to do the stats for the playoffs. That makes sense. I'll check that. One ball. You have 13 of the MLB, 30 MLB teams done. Nice. So you're trying to go for all of them. Are you going to go for the BR? Mm. BR wins as well. I heard Dingers was grinding MLB 17 Springer. Oh yeah, I think he did say that. No, no, he said he did the grind. I don't think he's doing it right now. Gomez, come on, man. That's two hard hit ground balls. Let's see if Aguilar can do something for me. If he leaves one up, then we got something going. Otherwise, it's not looking good. <laughs> what? Should I bat Martina second or third? Uh, it depends what your lineup is, but probably... If you have, like, some speed. If you have, like, a five-tool player, bat that five-tool player second. Otherwise, bat Martina second. Because I have, like, Griffey batting second. That's really good for me. Or if you have like a switch hitter. There we go. That better get out. Alright. Yeah, if you don't have like a, a fully dynamic 5 tool player or something, uh, go ahead and bat Martinez second. That's true as well, but like. Yeah, I don't know if you can really go wrong either way. He's left in Hoffman for too many pitches, I think. You have 85 Gomez batting second. Yeah. For that one, it depends on how well you hit with that guy as well. If you hit righties well with Gomez, maybe. But I just don't like him swinging against righties too much. Brett Cecil's in. I need to warm up my next pitcher. Yep, that ball went out. Yeah, what Chrome is saying as well is true. So if you have like, where's your where's your Ted Williams card hitting? Because you said he doesn't hit for a ton of power, but he gets on base a lot. That Ted Williams sounds like a good two spot hitter. Facing Diamond Necro in ranked seasons right now. Blake Snell debut, nice. All right, he's in danger of walking Shin Tzu Chu with a lefty, which is good for me. I'm willing to swing because if I get on base, I get on base. It's whatever. But if I get a base hit, the game's over. And I think Chu did hit a lefty for a single in earlier in the game. Or, or previous game, but... He's got a decent swing for that left side. Williams is batting 8th, okay. Snell is actually nasty. I'll have to check him out. I'll probably end up getting Snell, Snell depending on how much he's going for. Because I probably will do, like, a uh, 6 collection to try to get Eckersley through the Finest program. And then probably get Trout from the postseason. 
This is a good pitch inside. I can't hit that with PCI on. I'm way too late on those inside pitches. He's got Ted Williams. He's got the diamonds. Diamond uh, Williams card. He hit. He said he hits like 394, but not a ton of power with him. No. That's a righty. That's like Michael Feliz or something. Yeah. Uh, he is. Hi. Oh, man. Welcome back, Timmy. Tim moves up. What? Where did I throw that? Was it right down the middle? It was right down the middle. The only spot he could have hit that pitch. Welcome, everyone. Trying to get back in this game. We were down 2-1. to one. Uh, Aguilar hit a home run with two outs in the top of the, the bottom of the third. So he's going to keep Batansis in, I think. Two outs in the third. Two outs in the fourth. Losing my mind. Awesome. Did you guys see that release? I thought it was good and where I threw it, and it ended up being down the middle. That's not good. We got to face Yelich now. I really don't want to burn Wade Davis in case I do come back in the bottom. And then have to play another inning. I threw a slider right down the middle, Aguilar, or to uh, whatever. Two food is choking. Well, I came back already. The first or second run he scored should not have happened. Just pop up to left. Got a triple out of it. Lucky. Could have been a homer. So hard to square up with the knuckleball. That's true. It's high. Just try to drop the PCI. Like if you're trying to track the track the knuckleball, it's gonna be impossible. Just try to drop the PCI wherever you think the ball is gonna land. And leave it at that. Stay fair. Stay fair, Russell Martin. Nice. That one is out of here. The grind is real. It's too much. I should have gotten the Cervelli. Why did I go to Drury? You ate Chinese today? Was it good? Do the postseason program for Eckersley and Trout. Uh, the finest is too expensive. That's true. I wasn't planning on doing much of the finest, but like some of the cars are good enough where I don't mind getting them. I don't have a ton of stuff that I need to spend stubs on, so I'm a little bit more relaxed on that. Is November rank season the last immortal? That's what they have said. I don't know if it will be. Or if they're just, you know, holding out to see. There's going to be nothing in the ticket counter. And I don't know. I'm going to guess it's the last one. But they didn't really say anything about future Immortals. Other than, like, leaking Ted when all the first round of Immortals came out. They leaked Ted, but they didn't say anything about anyone else. So, who knows? What's my hidden camera? It is Strike Zone. Strike Zone 1. The original one. Is one and two. Uh, when's the next game <laughs> update for the game? Like, if you're talking about patches, it's going to be uh, March 2019. You? What's the you? Missed it. It's too late. Outline PCI? You hit bombs? Is that the one with nothing in the middle? I might have to go with that. My monitor is just too slow. I'm just like a, a millisecond or two late on everything. Doesn't really help. That went through the pitcher, I'm pretty sure. The last immortal is supposed to be a starting pitcher. Yeah, the rank seasons immortal definitely will be a starting pitcher. But we're just not sure if it's actually the last Immortal or just the last one that they've told us about. This Wolf also uses Strike Zone. Yeah, Swolf, did you uh, did you change your PCI? I thought you used Wedge before. 
Or did you use just the reticle or whatever? There's too much going on in outline. I want as little as possible. What just happened? Did I leave a... Awesome. I just fat fingered the circle button. This is how you you moved your PCI around. Okay. I'm thinking of just going to whatever one is just like the empty like the empty brackets. I think it's the one that Lauren uses. But like, I I don't really think I'm gonna use the PCI in ranked or anything. I could, but I don't really want to. I'm just trying to like teach myself some muscle memory. Try to get the like the distance from the center to like just low. Try to get that muscle memory down before I go back to ranked. Well, I yank it because uh, kind of have to on no PCI. I think he's got like two hits with Yurko. Kershaw should get a postseason card with a 125 choke. Yeah, he's got like 99 everything except for his clutch is a zero. I try not to yank it too much. When I'm playing on offline against the CPU, I don't yank it as much. But I haven't even noticed whether or not I've been yanking it right now. So you're probably right. But you think that the actual PCI, like whether it's outline or reticle or wedge, you think that should be dependent on what your hitting style is? I want to hear more about that. Russell Martin went yard in the bottom of the fourth. Aguilar went yard in the bottom of the third. So we've come back twice in this game. We're 5-0 and oh so far. So if you could change the title, I'd appreciate that as well. This is the 5-0 game. I'm trying to get 6 right now. Welcome to everybody that's joining in. Cannot pitch to Aaron Hill, who did get that triple on the pop-up earlier in the game, so I'm just going to try to feed him some fastballs. Welcome, welcome. Aguilar at third base does not have a third base secondary, so it's risky, but I really wanted his bat in the lineup. I have CJ Crone playing first base. Yikes. Aaron Hill, man. Against righties? Alright. I don't know why he was looking sinker. That should have been a pop-up. Oh, it was right down the middle. That's why. I thought I got the outside corner. That's my own fault then. God 23 raid. What is up, boys? Raid, how are you doing? BR, 5-0 and so far. We've come back twice in this game. And it's not looking good for the bottom of the fifth, but he doesn't really have much pitching left, I believe. So let's see if we can come back as well. I hate this game. People can just get lucky in speed chase. That's true. Jackie, did you watch my video on speed cheese? I did a whole video on it. What the heck? I yanked that one for sure. Appreciate the raid, Kyle. How are you doing, man? Welcome to T-Money. That would have been huge if I got on base, but now it's not looking good. Got the bottom of the lineup coming up. I've already used Chris Davis off the bench. Yanked that one too. Awesome. You like your special Olympics teammates. That's good, man. Teammates, teammates can br make or break a an experience playing a sport. I sit down, so I yank it. Yeah, that's true. He sits down here, and then he moves up. But you don't move side to side too much, do you, Wolf? Like side to side, when you're down here, you kind of just like go like that. That would have been dirty. He already did it once in the at bat. Low and outside corner. Oh man. Timmy, we're just going to ignore it. But he had to go say it. Who is T Money? I don't know. Who is T Money? 
You tell me, T-Money. I choked a Freddie Freeman 9 game, which was worth 30k. Wasn't playing too well, so I landed it. 7-2, and two, rip, man. He got close, though. Sounded bad. Chris Davis is going to get a gold postseason card. He hit a home run. I guess. Steve Peters, diamond card. That's what people are saying, but how can you give him the defense to get him a diamond card, you know? what What's the overall on his uh, gold card? Isn't it an 80? If it's like an 84 or something, god dang it. Lots of lineouts in this game, too. Hard ground balls, ground outs. GG to the opponent. Aaron Hill, man. 83, okay. So if they boost the right-handed stats, depending on what position he plays, if he plays first base, I don't know. But I think he might have been playing a little bit of second base. So at second base, he could get a diamond. But if he gets a diamond, it's going to be like 85. And I think there were better, there were cards that could probably get higher than an 85. All right. Welcome, welcome. It is? What are we talking about? When is the next update? If you're talking about like a, a patch or something, they probably won't patch the rest of the game. They just did a patch like a couple weeks ago. Just a couple fixes on like uh, freezes and stuff. And like something on people trying to steal cheese or something. They did that, but I don't think they're going to patch hitting. They're not going to patch anything significant for the rest of the year. The reason why I think Pierce is the main card because last year they gave the World Series MVP the main card. I feel you on that, but like I don't think, I don't know if they're gonna give like an 85, 85 overall diamond to uh, the main card, the main program card. I'm trying to get some McDonald's, dude. You're out of here, dog. Five minutes. My roommate's trolling me because of the stupid McDonald's person. I told him to cancel one item out of the order and she canceled the entire order. And then I called her and then she hung up on me. And then I got charged for the order. Like if you order four, if you order two sandwiches, two biscuits and a drink and you ask them to cancel it, why would you think I would want the entire freaking order canceled? Anyway, welcome to the stream. We're five and one. I'm. I think my six win, Rognet or Dora, has been the same one for like four times in a row. Now I don't think I've sold him yet, so I probably have stacked up on him. Maybe this guy just quits. I would love that. We had a good game last game too, hitting wise. We came back a couple times. And then still blew it. Pitching was not there. This bullpen is atrocious, by the way. I have no lefties. A bunch of bronzes, like 68 to 72s. Right-handed pitchers. And then one silver Wade Davis card for the closer, which I don't really like anyway. And I just pitched Eugenio Suarez with the common lefty. Smart. What else do you guys think? What else do you guys think for postseason cards? I know Steve Pierce is definitely going to get a card. I don't think there's any question about that. But I don't think he gets more than uh, an 85 to an 87. And I don't think they can make it the number one card in BR or in, uh, in, the, seat, in the program. This thing's backwards, man. Every time I think I'm picking the right choice, it's not the right choice. Mm, he's almost guaranteed to steal, right? Maybe not with Jaren, Aaron Judge up. I timed him out. He's been trolling me all day. 
Still can't hit with this Jay Bruce card, or Jay Buner. He just hits ground balls up the middle for me. <laughs> like, what is that? Is Daniel Murphy cards decent? Like, he hits the ball hard, but mostly just line drives to the second baseman. TJ McFarlane, I think he's like a common, maybe a bronze. Either way, we could try to get a base hit here. Or we could try to go yard. Hmm, close. What's the wind looking like? I think the wind's actually blowing out. Let's see. Carlos Gomez isn't doing anything for me either. All right, just going in. That's the only thing you can do. Just smashes the ball past the third baseman. What do you guys think? If I lose this game, should I restart? I'll definitely redraft, but it's not going to be a long stream. We're probably only going to stream for another hour. So I'm definitely not going to play like a full run or anything close to it. So would you prefer that I get the two strikes out, strikeouts with Raleigh Fingers and then do a Raleigh Fingers debut? What's your favorite food you'll never get sick of? Risk is about to get permabanned. Just like his league account. Play a ranked game? I'm at 901. I could play a ranked game. So get Goose Gossage and play a ranked game? Do a Gossage debut? I could do that. What does the chat think? You better make this catch. All right. I'm concerned about his fielding. Like it's really good, but it's made some mistakes. We still got to talk about these cards, man. We know it's Steve Pierce. We say Jackie Bradley Jr. Uh, David Price. Nathan, Nathan Nivaldi. Who else? Max Muncy? He, I don't know if he had the numbers to back it up, but like he had some clutch moments. Brock Holt probably will get one. I don't know. He did have the cycle. He did have some clutch moments. I don't know if his numbers were that good, though. I haven't seen it. Where did I miss that? Every time with Shu, Shinsu Chu, I can only hit line drives with him, I think. If I get under the ball, it's a pop up. Welcome, welcome. Oh, sorry, Timmy. I was thinking about your question, and then I got sidetracked. What what what's the answer for you? What's the favorite food you'll never get sick of? Oh, I got sidetracked because Risk said McDonald's, and I got triggered. Um, favorite food for me? It's not spaghetti. I'm already sick of that. I don't know. I, I guess it would have to be pizza. Like, there are times when you eat pizza that's just, like, every meal for a weekend. And it's totally fine. Then there's just, like, so much variety of, like, different... If you get pizza from one place, it's always different than from another place. So it stays uh, pretty fresh for you. I guess I have to go pizza. It's just a basic answer, but that's why people love pizza.
Yikes, I should have walked him. There's no reason why I should be pitching to Immortal Ken Griffey Jr. With the run with the base open in a tie game. Russell Martin was clutch last game. Buner's gonna get a chance as well. And Chris Davis, who already has a walk-off. What's up, Hector? How are you doing, man? We're in a BR run, five and one so far. Trying to walk this one off. I've had a lot of home games, which is nice. Underneath it. Most underrated player on MLB The Show. I appreciate that. We've been getting uh, getting noticed recently, which is nice. But I've also had, like, you know, you, you saw that I I beat, uh, what's his face, Rubble. I think the night or two nights before that, I lost to McGunsky in, like, six innings, 10-0. to zero. And that same day, I had lost 200 ranked points. So I went from, like, 897 all the way down to uh, 6, no, yeah, 686 or something. And then the next day, I went up, like, 200, got to World Series. So it's been up and down. When I get hot, I get hot. But if I get cold, I get real cold. But I appreciate you saying that. Does he have a lefty? If he pitches the righty to Daniel Murphy, we're in really good shape. Welcome back, Team Money. You never answered your own question. Who is Team Money? Looks like he's going to go lefty, but then he's got Gomez behind him. I'm sure he's got another righty in the pen, though. I'm going to try to go base hit to the left side. Inside, ball one. Four. Spazzed. I did what I wanted to do. That's a good pitch, though. Has Dan been here since he lost his mod? He's some kid that has no life. Nice. At least you are uh, upfront about it. Dan doesn't know that he lost his mod yet. I'm still waiting for him to come back so that I can embarrass him. That's not true. I'm just going to pretend like it was an accident and then just not give it back to him. I was just playing, lost 16, then earned 20 on my third game having a battle with this guy, and then he's a 40 point game. Boom, 10. <laughs> that does happen, man. You're just like, all right, there's no chance that this guy is like. That we're playing on All Star. This has got to be Hall of Fame or something like that. This guy's got to be way better than me. And then you play him, and then they're like 200 points below you. I was playing Healy the other day too, and I was like psyched up because uh, his his season record is like 100 games over 500, and he's only played like 150. He's lost like under 50 games. And I played him. I was like super psyched up, and I beat him. And then it turns out it was like his fourth game of the season. So he hadn't had any rating points. He was on All Star, and I was bummed, but I got the dub. Good swing. You don't see that too often. Awesome. Is that gonna be the second time I blow a game because that dude whiffed? We told Dan in Swall Stream. Oh, what did Dan say? That's yeah. In that case, you guys can't do that though. Why didn't you let me tell him? That looks bad. That was an accident. I don't know how I feel about that. What's up, Shark Pate? We did. You beat him too, yeah. It was crazy. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm sure he was like dead tired. He was trying to pitch Trevor Bauer for the first time, I believe. Bauer is not a good card. The finest card. Don't remember. He said a lot of bad words. Thanks, guys. You can't do that, man. If I have a situation with someone, you guys can't be talking about it before I talk to him about it. Because that's not cool. I didn't mean to, like, disrespect him either. Like, he would have understood, but it is what it is now. That's okay, team money. Just if something happens like that, let me... 
me talk to the person individually before we bring it up somewhere else. Like if you had brought it up in my chat, maybe that'd have been fine. But unless you thought I was there in the chat, that's different. Like if I had been there at the same time when you told him, that's different. But it's over now. We won't dwell, dwell on it. Let's see if Aguilar can finish this off. You okay? I haven't been playing third base, and he can't even get hits for me. He did tie up the game last game, I guess. Should I turn off the PCI, Wolf? I probably should. I will next inning. All right, Shinsu Chu. I'm not sure if he has lefties left. I don't know who's in his bullpen. I don't know who's in my bullpen. How are you doing, Sharkbait? All right, Wade Davis is ready. Opponent's bullpen. He's got Jorge De La Rosa and Hoffman. Neither of them are warmed up. So I guess he's riding with his man, Severino Gonzalez. All right. And I didn't pinch run, but I think this is going to be good enough. Aaron Judge does have an arm. And that's a good throw. Yeah, with two outs, I'm fine with that. I'll take it. That should have pinch run, though. Y'all didn't remind me. How are you doing PCI now? It's been okay. I have really poor timing, so I hit a lot of line drives to the opposite field. And I have a hard time hitting home runs. Even when it's down the middle, like I end up hitting a uh, line drive right back through the pitcher. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I don't know, like the thing is, I don't know if that's a good trade off yet. Like I'm going to wait until I play some ranked with it. And I want to see if on ranked, like with the mortals and stuff, I can actually hit for power and stuff like that. Because I have a feeling for the most part, I'm going to square up many more balls because of it. It's going to be a matter of timing. Top of the fifth. I don't even know how many hits I have in this game. Zero, zero, though. That doesn't happen too often. But I think Swolf did that in his 12 game a couple of days ago. And he walked it off in like the eighth inning. All right, he's only got two pitchers left, so they're not going to be his best pitchers. You glad the Red Sox won? Um, I'm somewhat indifferent. I did pick the Red Sox as the early choice. So, like, for that reason, I'm happy about it. I do have family from Boston as well. Uh, they're not big baseball fans, but... They do watch from time to time. So that was cool. But they're also Patriots fans, and, like, they win too much. So I'm kind of sick of that part. You don't have any Immortals. Um, are you trying to get, like, Immortal Ted Williams or anything? Or, like, the easy ones? Relatively easy? My chat just spazzed. Let me know if the mic's still working. I might have to switch it back. Martin couldn't do what he did last game. All right, Chris Davis has already been used off the bench. So we got Cervelli. I do still have Wade Davis on the bullpen. All right. It was a good pitch. It was a little bit inside. And the only way I would have hit that is if I pulled it down the line. Cervelli with the tank? Alright. Well, we do have a pinch runner off the bench. So we're going to have a chance to do this. You only have three immortals? No way. I forgot I have immortal Brett. Suck so events online. Gotcha. Well, I don't know if you've seen Joey, but I've got a lot of tips videos. Um... That might be able to help you in online play. They're at the beginning of like a, the channel videos list. If you want to check them out later, but 
Yeah, online it's like a it's a steep learning curve. Nope. What's up, Andrew? How are you doing? I got one ball, one strike. Ooh. That's a big change up from Hoffman, that makes sense. Buner, <laughs> line drive right at him. Awesome. Alright, I think I'm gonna turn off the PCI for next inning. Just try to hit a walk off home run. I'm scoring up balls just right at people. George Brett, Bob Feller, and Ted. They're good ones though. You will check them out later. The lag that really gets me. I feel ya. Is it your internet or the other person's internet? Because usually if you see lag, it's from the other person's internet. But if you see it consistently, I'm not sure. Once you get a little bit higher, the lag doesn't kill you as much. But I'm much happier with the lag in this game as compared to previous years. Yeah, Aguilar is still playing third base. He's not going to make a single play unless it's hit right at him. Still need to get Ted. I'm at 58. It's pretty close. Probably theirs. Okay. So you, how far do you think you are? Did the World Series events end already, Andrew, or do you get to play all the way through? All right, Aguilar. Never mind. Apparently he can make <laughs> jump throws from the side. He's a freaking first baseman. He's got to be running, right? It ends on the seventh. Oh, so you probably can get it. Is that the plan? Trying to get it ASAP? Swing? No throw. It's been fixed recently. Like, it's that's not been happening. It's been really responsive. I thought the patch fixed that part. But apparently it hasn't. Alright, I was trying to get that off the plate. I figured he was going to, like... Hit and run or something. I'm gonna throw this off the plate, see if he steals or something. Not where I wanted it. Jesus making big plays in the inning. I'm gonna try to get it on this event so I can get the live series diamond, even with the market crash. You talking about live series diamond or who? For Trout? All right, go ahead, runs on base. Carlos Gomez is up. I might bunt with him. I might have to bunt because he does not do much against righties. All right, it's okay. All right, I'll take that. Do I bunt with the next guy, Jesus? Do I bunt with Jesus? Is he going to third? Alright. He's in there. Hey. That's on him, man. Sacrifice bunts are legit. If you're trying to squeeze with the with the bases loaded, that's kinda cheesy. But sacrifice bunts, totally fine. Should have been looking for that pitch. Alright, I'll take it. This win, oh, okay. The live series diamond for the 25 wins. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, let's find out what this 9 win is. I'm going to keep playing BR until this run is over. I might not be able to finish it in an hour, hour and a half. But if we can get 12 wins, that would be great. 9 wins at least. Cindergard. I think he's decent. He's probably going for like 15k. Cinder guard. 15k, yep. Well, let's keep going. If I lose this next game, I'm going to do two strikeouts with Raleigh Fingers and then do a Goose Gossage uh, debut in Ranked Seasons. Otherwise, we'll keep rolling. Yeah, Joey, if, you're, if you have a lot of lag with your opponents, depending on where you're living, uh, it does decrease when you go up the ladder like if you can get to like 500 usually maybe 600 for the most part the lag goes away but yeah it'll be a battle just getting to that point unless you're already there 
Houston Blackhawks. Trout, Alvarez, Cruz, Olsen, Scope, Odor, Carter, Mezzarocco. This is actually a very good team if he knows their swings. Record 6-1. Uh, and one. I'm from Chicago and use the Black Sox, Blackhawks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It was interesting. That's why I was like, Houston Blackhawks. Must be something local there. Ooh. All right. That's the first time I've really turned on a pitch with Jay Buhner. For the most part, it's been line drives, ground balls past the pitcher. Murphy's done work in this run, though. Chris Sale's coming in. Who's playing first? Matt Olson. Uh, Matt Olson should probably go gold, by the way. Supposedly, he has really good defense. I'm not 100% sure about it, but apparently he has, like, gold glove caliber defense. And his defense is, like, a 50 or something. So he should be going gold in the next update. Oh, is that what... Uh, who was asking about the updates? Is that what they're talking about? Roster updates? I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Friday. I don't think they've told about it. Six and eleven. Thanks, Wolf. I didn't warm up anybody up today. All right, Team Money. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you around. Try to get this 12 win for you. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't have any good pitchers in the bullpen anyway. Hudson started starting to give up runs, but he's had to face a lot of lefties, which is why. This Alvarez card's about to hit it 500 feet. There's no let up in this lineup. Do I throw him away? It's risky. He does throw 98. That's probably why he's doing so well. Change up inside now. By the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, it's always an open Q&A, so if you have questions about gameplay or whatever, gameplay, missions, anything at any time, hit me up. Alright, I think we can rob this. Who's in center? Carlos Gomez, he should rob it. There we go. I feel like the wind kept that one in. He's, he hit it pretty good. Wind is blown out, so the wind actually pushed it. It could have been just a fly out. Wind pushed it. To the edge. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our One day the congestion side. will go away. Drop. Cruz with that hustle. He's got like such a glitchy run because he's so slow. I gotta turn on these fastballs though. Turn on a slider. I have a I have a lot of trouble turning on fastballs with the PCI on. That's what we say in NYC. One day the congestion will go away. But are you talking about your your nose or are you talking about traffic? Chicago traffic doesn't go away either. Someone told me that uh, I've heard like LA traffic is the worst. But I've heard from some people that in LA, like they just they accept the fact that the traffic is so bad that nobody's like getting in, getting on each other's case. Goal. He's not catching that. Unlucky. All right, 
my guy's gonna slide into second for some reason. Unlucky. Can we make it second? Who's in center field? He's gonna double tap and gonna go to cut off. Yeah. All right. Hey, when that happens, yeah. It's like they don't even realize the ball is there, which is the the frustrating part. And yeah, we get a quit. It's only the, like the second quit of this run. And I played like four games before the stream because I knew I wasn't going to have time on stream. So here we are. Seven wins. <laughs> Unfortunately, like 12 wins doesn't get you a ton of stubs anymore. For the most part, it's like, I don't know, 20k, which is good. I'm not complaining. Clutch. GG, thank you. Appreciate it. He was pitching Chris Sale, but I think he threw too many strikes, first of all, and then he might have brought in Chris Sale a little early. We're going to see if this run has the kind of magic that we had last time. Who was here last time, by the way? Um, Joey was definitely here, but I think he had to go to... No, he stayed up just to watch the stream, so I appreciate that, Joey. Who else was here for the, the last 12 win that we did? Would Giambi hit the ball down the line? It was first and third with one out. Uh, I was down by one. Uh, and Giambi pulls the ball on the ground between the first baseman and the line. Hits a, like a triple basically down the line. The guy scores from first. Dan, uh, Swolf wasn't there. You didn't see who's the nine game. Right now it's uh, Cindergard. This guy's 29 and 40. You wasn't, so you think you need to leave? You think you're the, the bad luck? That's not what I was going for, but... If you're looking for an excuse to leave, I guess, Wolf. Interesting move. Eric Thames leading off, though, so, like, this guy knows what he's doing. Not sure if it's going to translate to skills, but... At least he knows how to build the lineup. Eric Thames is the freaking man. No, you need to stay. There you go. Well, if I lose, I will blame it on you, Swolf. If I could throw a pitch, that would be great. Mm, give me it. Interested in a thumbnail? They're pretty nice. A thumbnail from you, D Easy? I'm alright, thank you. I don't know who you are. Or are you interested in my thumbnails? If so, I appreciate that. Don't blame me if you lose to Bronze 45. I absolutely will, Swolf. That's the thing, though. I have to blame you. If you think I'm going to take accountability for my own actions, you're wrong. You can redeem your World Series pick? Cool. We'll have to check that out. I don't know what... The thing is, d easy. I don't know what question you're asking. I don't understand if you're asking if you want thumbnails or if you want me to get thumbnails from you. How many wins are you away from 50? I'm at about 30. Just under 30, probably. Alright, he's going to Ozuna early. I didn't see what his lineup looks like, so I don't know if he has better guys in the bullpen, but if he's trying to go to Ozuna early, we're going to have the advantage as the home team. Hopefully in the third inning. Freaking... What? So if I got to turn off the PCI soon. 
like, I'm just a super in between. I don't know what to do. That one's on me. Just didn't need to swing at that. All right. Tell me I warmed somebody up. I did. Okay. And I think Grandal's better against righty, so I'm going to keep in the lefty despite him being a common. All right. Got lucky there. All right. I think Lowry's also better against lefties or against righties, so I'm going to keep going with Lauer. So we're trying to get five outs with a common pitcher. And we get it done. Welcome to anybody that's just joining in. I'm trying to get this nine win. I don't know if we're going to have time for the 12, if we can even win those games first of all, but hopefully you get this nine win real quick. Noah Syndergaard's on tap. Uh, you can redeem World Series. Now he's got five out confidence. Yeah, exactly. But that Lauer card has been pretty good. I don't know if I've really given up much damage with that guy. So. But there have been many times where I've, I'm like, all right, this guy pitched a good first batter. And then I throw him for another batter and it gives up a home run. That's happened way too many times. But I haven't done it recently, which is why I think my BR luck is turning around. Stop doing, like, dumb stuff with my pitching staff. Please get to that nine. I need to add to my list. Okay. I will do my best, Wolf. No PCI. It would have been a home run. Cutter two, goodness. All right, try to go to right field. I think he's throwing a lot of fastballs, but he's locating them like decently. All right, bottom of the order is going to come up, but I will have the top as well. Like Buner's going to get a chance in the bottom of the third. Good swing. Modesty is pretty decent. Um, I don't know if that's the diamond card or not. But he's batting eighth, so I'm guessing it's the bronze card. But his swing is pretty nice. He hits that line drive pretty well. Swolf, so how many different uh, combos do you have on that list? Because last time I was playing, I got Aaron Nola as the six or nine. Got Aaron Nola as the nine. And somebody said that according to whatever previous list was available, my 12 win would be Jose Altuve, but it ended up being Jim Edmonds. Let's go. He's in there. He's safe. Purely speed there. It was a decent throw. I've been working on a creative player as well, by the way, for a catcher. I'm thinking I might try to spend some stubs on, like, Francisco Lindor as my shortstop. And then try to go ahead and make a creative player at catcher. Because Ryan Sandberg's probably going to play second base for me. When someone goes diamond, it switches. Oh, okay. Good foul ball there. He's got Seth Smith, who's who's a pretty good BR guy. I got to count two and two. He's gonna steal. He's probably stealing next batter if he strikes out. Yeah. Is a righty up? It's a lefty. Eric Thames. Should I walk him? Who's up next? Albert Pujols. Uh, it looks like a diamond. Albert Pujols. I don't know. I feel like I should. I'm much more afraid of Thames than Pujols. Like Pujols, people will will ground out on inside pitches with him, but Thames can smack the ball around. He still could try to steal. Now 
Did anybody else understand the question that the dude was asking? I couldn't tell if he was asking about my thumbnails or if I wanted thumbnails from him. And then he uses some questionable language. Alright, let's get this guy. Ooh, he's, he's made some good contact. But I don't really want to try to pitch out right here. Alright. Kendrys. And this guy's way too tired to keep pitching, so. Here we go. Delise has had some problems, too. What's up, Rob? How are you? Swolf, congrats on the World Series ranking. Yeah, well, Swolf is in there. Swolf's been in there for a while now. He actually made it in before me, which was kind of disappointing. But total GG to, to Swolf. You need to clip your thumbnails. <laughs> I just did yesterday, so GG. That's definitely what we're talking about, Andrew. Ball. All right, 2-0 to Russell Martin. He's already had a big home run in this run, but jammed himself. You won Rodney's bet. So, how many games did you play? I played literally 90 games. 91 games got me to World Series. It was disgusting. I think last season it took me about 14 games. And then this season took me 90. First season took me about 75. But this season was crazy, man. You got a 10-pack bun bundle for picking the Red Sox to win? Nice. I'm about to pull that right after this, then. This guy won't let me really pinch run, which is awesome. He's got Diamond Doby as well. Interesting. All right, get some speed on second base. This is the situation where Buner hit a ground ball up the middle for a for a walk off a few games ago that's got to get out of here right where did I miss that should I go home nah I, I don't think I've done it online before but I have scored on a sack fly to center field look at that swing I guess anywhere except to center field that would have been gone Like 50 games. Okay, so that it, it was a significant amount. Not 90, but 50 is still a good amount. Rumor is if you went 10 out of 10 with predictions, you get a guaranteed finest pack. That's crazy. That would have been awesome. I wasn't even close, though. I probably got 4 out of 10 predictions. I got the early choice Red Sox, and then I think basically everything else I got wrong except for like Dodgers over over Brewers. Basically everything through the rest of the playoffs I got wrong, which I would never have gotten because I was wrong regardless because I got hedged on the ALCS not knowing there was a bonus for all rights. Oh, okay. I think I missed a couple as well. It just wasn't on the day that they posted them, but I did not predict anything correctly. Except the last. You get a ball in his habit pack if you pick the Red Sox early? Okay. Wait, so what did you get the... Oh, so you got the Red Sox for the World Series, and then you also had the early choice. So I will open those right after this game, probably. Or I'll try to do 9 win first. I'll play one more game after this, and then I'll open those packs. Uh, Swolf, could you change the title to 7 and 1, please? Alright. No, 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 no. I don't know how he made that catch. I got all of the NL right except for the Cubs beating the Rockies. Nice. Six seventy one, awesome Swolf. Ready with the O one. 
one and one. One and one as this one's in on the hand. Thank you. Outside. Oh, that's two off the plate. One. Ball two. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate. Than I wouldn't mind getting walked with Carlos Gomez. Spider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Harry Tyne. He's out. Took the Astros to win the World Series, but Hatch for the ALCS. Squared it up. Ken Giles. Uh, should I ever look slider or just keep looking fastball? I guess I should look slider. Boom. I definitely wasn't looking slider. I just kind of swung at it. But I ain't complaining. One more, boys. This is where I lost last time. If you guys weren't here, the last BR run, there was another BR run before that where I went 8-2. Eight and, eight and two. And I missed out on who knows. That better not happen again. Thank you, Swolf. Yikes. All right. Trying to get the 50 BR wins? I am. Um, I don't know about, like, the timing. You know, I was not going to grind for finest, but I thought I was going to have to wait for World Series to, like, the very end of the month. So I did have a few days to grind. And because of that, I now am going for that. Uh, what's it called? 50 wins. And I'm also doing the 30-game CPU. Which I really didn't plan on doing, but here I am now. Is that risk? No. That was someone with a rather inappropriate name. Risk was just trolling me. He's AFK on lead right now. Alright, so Buner and Gomez are both trash for me right now. Crone's amazing. Swolf, do you do this? I, like, I consider sometimes, you know, I've got my diamonds at the top, but sometimes they don't hit well for me. So is there ever a time where you take your, your diamonds that aren't hitting well and you move them down in your BR lineup as you get, like, later in the run? Because I've considered doing it a couple times, but I've held off. But I'm wondering if that's a strategy you ever use. One ball, two strikes to count. Good at bat so far. Level 57 gold. I don't even know what gold roots numbers are. I think it's similar to the diamond Ted, if I remember correctly. Your diamonds always hit first no matter what, even if you're not hitting well with them. Yeah, I figure like the the risk reward. Not risk reward, but what am I trying to say? The value of them goes down if you move them down despite What am I trying to say? Like the potential of Buner still hitting a home run for me is pretty high. So I like the fact that he's up there. And I like Gomez behind hitting behind Murphy because it's the lefty protection. I just don't know if I can really like justify the fact that they're hitting 138, putting him at the top of the lineup. If you have Gallo or Davis, you lead him off. That's fair. Yeah. Tips tweeted that they're aiming for next week for the postseason program. That's pretty good. Schwarber as well. Next week. That makes sense. I would guess they would do a final like stats upgrade. This Friday, then. I'm not sure if they tweeted anything about that, though. Daniel Murphy. 
You will only need to play to receive flashbacks just like the 2017. That's good. Finally, Murphy gets some power in. That's his first home run. I hope no one goes diamond because my list will be no good. True. Yeah, I guess those are the situations where, like, I mean, I've hit the ball hard three times. So I guess it's worth having him at the top. They will upgrade downgrade from players in the postseason. The postseason program stuff can be cheaper than the finest cards. Yeah, so what Andrew just said, uh, Rob, if you look like a few comments up, you will only need to play to receive the flashbacks just like 2017's finest program. Finest? Oh, postseason, yeah. So it looks like it's going to be completely free. Um, so if you are doing like Mike Trout or something, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but postseason also gets you 60% for that Immortals program. So you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to get Trout for free if you wanted, which is kind of, it makes sense. Like if you wanted to get Trout immediately, you could pay for it with the finest, but if not, you still have the chance with the postseason. So it should be just like the Future Stars program. That would be pretty cool. And the Future Stars program was like, was like nice, organized, uh, a decent grind. Like it still takes like a day or two if you really put the time into it. But it's also not the hardest, uh, hardest missions that you have to do either. Appreciate the info, Andrew. That's the second time I've done that today. Crone's done that a few times, pulling sliders down the line. But he's uh, he's batting like 700 right now. So that would be one guy that I would want to move up, maybe ahead of Aguilar. But he's still pretty clutch wherever he is. Chu continues to hit line drives to the right field. Right fielder. feel like he's just had he's had much better swings against lefties than he has against righties I think it's bottom second so we gotta close this out with Wade Davis real quick all right getting close to that cinder guard right after cinder guard if we win this game right here we're gonna go open those packs from the Red Sox winning the World Series and then we'll jump back into BR real quick. Try to finish out the rest of this run. Alright, who we got? Wade Davis is not ready, but we're going to go with him anyway. And Joyce. All right. Apparently he has Fowler batting ninth. I don't think this guy's lineup was very good in the first place. I mean, this Fowler card's not bad. I don't know why he's batting so low. Smart move. Hit and run. No tag? That would have been close. I feel like they kind of rigged those, though. Uh, because they know the animation is so bad that automatically they're going to be safe. Like, you see that happen around second base a lot. I don't know if I'm going to even make it to 12 wins, guys. Even if I win 12, I don't know if my voice is going to last that long. You guys already have submissions for me. Tell me. Yeah, there goes your spelling. 
Well, I did have the NOLA to Jim Edmonds postseason. What else did I have? I had... I think the one I had before that was before a, before a roster update, so that wouldn't help. Who we got? Jim Edmonds again. All right. So there you go. So Noah Syndergaard goes to Jim Edmonds as well. We got to get three more wins to get him. But before we do that, we're going to open some, open some packs that we got from here. Postseason predictions winner. Oh, okay. So the finest. Yeah, okay. So there you go. You get a guaranteed finest if you got at least 10. All 10. So I, I missed wild cards and NLDS. There you go. You do get a finest if you did all those. World Series winner, I picked correctly. Can your 12 game be a finest? No, not at the moment. I have a feeling that'll change. I have a feeling it'll change, and I think they will eventually make a 12 win or 12 and 0 at least i think 12 and 0 is reasonable that they would make a 12 and 0 potentially a finest card but i think it's going to be a few weeks before that happens i don't think i got any of these no nah. all right so let's open these packs real quick we'll start with the ball and have it there get a gold david robertson here we go school that Edmonds is kind of so expensive. I appreciate that, Joe. Joey. I really appreciate that. Like, that uh, that means so much to me. And I love that. Uh, it's cool that Edmonds is still kind of expensive. That's true. Like, there's a there's a few 12 wins now that are, like, really happy. So, honestly, uh, I'm going to take a look at Edmonds. And if he's not... If he's already starting to nosedive, I might just do a sell now. But I'm also wondering, like, you guys remember, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, where you actually had to get, like, a postseason card from the from the uh, community market and then go ahead and try to sell it. Go ahead and try to sell it. You have to get a community market card and then play with it and do missions. So I'm wondering if, like, Jim Edmonds would be valuable in that way because he is a postseason card. And I'm wondering if he's going to factor into the postseason mission somehow. In that case, his value might go up, but... I kind of doubt it. I feel like it's only going to have to do with the new postseason card. Nothing so far. Silvers. We got like a Mother's Day equipment or something. But I think it was a cheap one. If you get every Division Series right, you would have had a Finest. Dang. That would have been so nice, man. Guaranteed Finest packs are huge. If you did that and then you do like... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and buy a Finest Pack right now. Type 1 in the chat if you want me to buy a Finest Pack. I don't know if I should. Got none right and picked Indians as a winner. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mother's Day. I think I got one of these 20 stubs. Awesome. And I got four of them. I'm not even going to bother putting these up. I'm not going to even bother with that. One, giving in. I've already bought three, Rob. And to be honest with you, I don't care too much about stubs right now. All right. Andrew. No, Joey, this is for you. It's going to be a JT, isn't it? If it was, I, I wouldn't mind. If it was a JT in my guarantee, that would be kind of fun. And we get a gold. Jose LeClerc. We got two silvers. Oh, we got a gold. That's it. No more of those. No more of those. That basically, I already wiped out the whole Noah Syndergaard that I just picked up. I would have had to get two Syndergaards to overcome what I just did. Oh, that's for you, Joey. I can't believe you pulled freaking JD out of the out of the guaranteed pack. I didn't. Th I didn't think that would be possible. We got three wins. I do have enough time, I think, to play all three games. Angel and I play each other a lot. Is it a close series? Is it a battle of the century? I think I've only played Angel one time. Oh, Doobles Doobies, I think this guy's really good. He's got JD leading off. Harper and Napoli. 
He's got Reese. He's got Story. He's got Common Chris Davis. And we're the away team. This doesn't look good, guys. You wanted bias so bad. I do want bias as well. If you're at 721 right now, should I try to make World Series or do Squad Builders? What's your uh, career high, Jackie? In terms of rating. We got about 48 hours. Maybe 36 hours. It's not out of the question. I think you could do it. You've at most barely made CS. Um, at 721, what would you do for squad builders? What does that mean for you? Oh, that would have been huge. To get an early lead against this guy, that would have been huge. Um, I do think it's worth it though, Jackie. If you can at least make CS, I think it's a big deal. I've noticed Buner can hit curveballs. Can't hit anything else but curveballs. You have three teams set up. Drop. Ah, uh, Story's got the speed though. Yankees don't think Harper is a fit. Apparently, Harper already has a deal in place. I'm not sure if I believe that, but it's crazy. All right, Colin McHugh, he did not go to a lefty. So we got the advantage with Murphy right here. Sandberg would be worth it. Yeah, that's true. But it's a question of, like, are you going to put in the time and, like, are you guaranteed to get Sandberg? I think he's, is what he's asking. He's saying he hasn't made World Series yet. But... It's worth a shot, like, if you wanted to. If you got hot really quickly. Jackie, like, if you win three or four games in a row, it's worth it to try. Um, like, at worst, you could do squad builders at the beginning of next season, right? Carlos Gomez finally gets a solid knock. I gotta take a look at this guy's bullpen. He does have diamonds in the lineup, which means he probably doesn't have anything good in the bullpen. He has Yuris, Familia, Mike Dunn, Pazos. So he's got lefties. Righties are not quite there, but he looks like he's ready to bring in Familia at some point. All-time Jays team, fantasy team, and my favorite players. Yeah, I mean, that stuff is... Oh, crap. That stuff's going to be available for you even when the season's over, right? So you might as well try to go for World Series. If you don't make it, you don't make it, but at least you tried, you know? Artie Lewicki. I would love to have a, a sinker right here. There is one of my common pitchers that has one. Super lucky. I really want to do an all-time White Sox team, but my White Sox team would be so garbage. And we have, like, Canerco and we have Frank Thomas as, I think, the best two cards, and then, like, a shortstop that can't hit, Louis Aparicio. And why am I still pitching with this guy? Um, so yeah, we have two first basemen as our two diamonds, and then a shortstop that can't hit, so like, can't do much. Griffey. Yeah, well, if you have, if you can use any card, any card of any player that ever played on that team, that would be cool. That would be legit. But if you're just doing, like, people that have White Sox cards in this game, yeah, it would be trash. But that would be, that would be a fun thing to do for sure, Andrew. And Jackie, if you're trying to go, okay, he's going to stay at first. Yeah, Jackie, are you doing that? Are you doing any card for any player that ever played for the Blue Jays? This guy's decent. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, Odubles, Doobies. I think I've played this guy in rank before. All right. If we can get out of the first, the bottom of his lineup is, is decent, but not amazing. He popped up with JD to lead off the game. He's got finest JD leading off. And I hit fastball down the middle, right to the shortstop with 
Aguilar for a double play. You got RP sale, what more do you need? <laughs> exactly. Where do you even get that card? Is that like a middle of the team epic kind of card? Obviously, otherwise my pitching would be non-existent. Non True. Okay. That's interesting then. Is J.A. Happ live series gold right now? 25% epic, okay. Yeah, I haven't touched any of the epics. The only things I've done is like random hitting stats just because of happening to use them in my lineup. But I don't think I've grinded for anything in the, in the epics. I think most people are that way unless you're trying to go for like two or three of the good diamonds. Hap is a silver, interesting. I thought he had a gold quality quality year. I guess it's uh, his last couple years probably weren't as good. Swolf, does the BR? Do you guys see the title? Does it still say BR run six seventy one? Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, Swolf, can you change the title to nine and one? He's looking in there now. I don't know if this is going to stay fair. It could curve back. No. But he's looking inside now, so I'm going to have a little bit of an opportunity to get him away throughout the rest of the game. Alright, you better not whiff this one. Alright. Shin Su Chu, he's not even a bad fielder. He's pretty good, just not enough speed, I guess. He wasn't bad for the Yankees. Uh, okay, Swolf. I don't know if that was necessary, but thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, his season was pretty good. And he's, I think he had one more previous season within the last few years where he was, like, really good for, like, half the season or something. Crap. I think it was worth it to dive. Dang. I think my shortstop might have made that play. All right, what do we do here? I threw that s I threw that fastball inside again. I knew it was a bad pitch. Jack Morris, Diamond Price, Marco Estrada, Dave Steve, Ryan Baruki is my rotation. Not bad. I think that's off the wall. Or gone, yeah. He got way too much of that ball for it to be off the wall. Looks like the run's going to end here, unfortunately. But I will do a Gossage. Gossage debut. Might get Diamond Liriano. Where is he from? Team Epic? Threw this guy one too many fastballs. Should have thrown more changeups. Twins, yeah, okay. Liriano was also on the White Sox. It was one of his only like bad, bad seasons. It was right after the Twins. I think he threw a, a no hitter with the Twins, and then the White Sox like traded for him or something, and he was garbage. Manny Ramirez played for the White Sox. I don't think he did anything for us. Griffey had one home run for the White Sox. They were both washed up by the time they got here. I don't know why we picked him up as like the guy as we were trying to make the postseason runs. But we did. Putting Napoli on your team even though he's been part of the Jays for four days in January. I think it counts. If he had a contract for the team, go for it. Finally a good fastball. All right. Jerry's Familia. It's a good pick. He's got a sinker. As his ex-pitch. So I'm going to sit right here. 
sit right here, hope that he does what most people do with the sinker. And instead I'm just swinging at everything. <clears throat> Alright. We're going to have Chris Davis and on the top of the lineup. So we can just get a couple of base runners here. Might be okay. Kevin did the Jays with the guys who were in the minor league system. How is that possible? They have enough guys in the 40 man that made it to the... Because like you can't make a card for a guy who hasn't been in the uh, major leagues in a regular season game, I believe. Is that correct? So that's interesting. GG doobies. Alright, we're gonna redraft, we're gonna get Gossage, and we may play a ranked game. Cinder He had Cinder on the team. Oh, okay, so like at some part, okay, I see what you're saying now. At some point, they were in the uh, Blue Jays system, and they wanted to see how good of the team would be if the Blue Jays just had kept those guys. All right, we're going to start with the draft. Oh, I'm going to go post center guard first. Who we already wasted because we bought a finest pack. All right. Draft Wagner, Bell. Probably go Bell. I've been going away from bullpen guys recently, and it's been working out. I don't really like either of those guys though. Check all your epics, they may have a few. Yeah, I just looked at the epics like a couple days ago. Especially when I'm grinding offline, I'll go back and forth and make sure I'm getting like those hitting stats and stuff. So I have I have checked recently, but good call. Let's see, we gotta get lefties in the uh, bullpen this time. Dude, uh, could be a bench bat. Molitor, Davinsky? Davinsky hasn't been great for me. He used to be really good. Like last year, he had kind of a broken release point. Uh, I might go with Freeze. Uh, he's only going to be good for a bench bat, though. Gave up a pop-up double to Chris Sale because I incidentally clicked R2. Rip. Schmidt. Oh, there was a Silver Schmidt, wasn't there? How many BR runs have I got? Uh, I finished 9 and 2 on that run. So we're redrafting. And the wins, I can take a look right now. We are at 30 wins. So I still got to get 20 more. We're about halfway done with both these. So it'll take a little bit longer. What do I do? I'm gonna go ahead and take freeze for the bench. Hope I get some better cards eventually. This is the card that went yard against me. 73, 82, we're gonna go Piscotti. Castillo, we got another lefty full of bullpen. Bullpen's still trash, but it is what it is. Ionetta for catcher, I don't think I've used him yet. He scored two runs with the bases loaded and two outs. Man, you got some bad luck going on right now. What kind of, uh, were you in a, a ranked game, Jackie? Who's got speed? Florimon? Valeka has got some power, but he's a bench bat as well. So we got four silvers left, which is nice. Uh, what do we do here? Fielding, I guess. Tyler Wade. Stanton. Okay, who do we need? We need a shortstop. So we're going to go Tulowitzki. Outfield is pretty much set. Escobar, Myers, Yasmani Grandal. We don't need a catcher, but he does play first base. So do I take Will Myers or do I take Grandal? I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, rank seasons. Ouch, man. Will Myers or Grandal? This is what my team looks like right now. And apparently, actually, Will Myers plays third base, so I am going to take Will Myers.
And he's got some speed. Am I going to pick up Red Dead? I will not. Um, it looks like an amazing game. We're going to have to go Aguilar again. Despite him only hitting 214, I have faith in him. Matt Adams kind of had a dead bat for me. But do I have lefties? Here's the question. Do I go Matt Adams over Aguilar? And I think actually the answer is yes. Don't have enough lefties in here. Justin Boer or Conforto. Do any of my outfielders play infield? No. We have Tulo, Myers, and Adams. We need a second baseman. Rip. Hmm. I really like Conforto and Boer. What do I do? Not into my in facing 860 though oh okay so it won't be at least much of a loss if you lose and you can still come back what's the score in innings jackie uh it's not that it's not my type of game it's that i don't want to spend 60 bucks on it um I, if i put 60 bucks into a game like i've put 60 bucks into um mlb and i've played the crap out of it i'm gonna go conforto I'll put together the lineup later, but we're gonna go ahead and try to get these two strikeouts. We're gonna play Conquest. No, we're gonna play a CPU game. Just put Raleigh Fingers in. Immediately try to get two strikeouts. He has unhittable sale. Yeah, sales up the chase. Um Yeah, I don't wanna put the sixty bucks into it, that's all. But it looks like an amazing game. Um, but I also want to get like Spider-Man and stuff, but I'm going to wait until those games go down to like 20 bucks at least. But have you picked it up, Rob? Or anybody in the chat? Have you guys played Red Dead? I've seen like pictures and I've seen like a couple clips on Facebook and stuff, but I haven't even watched anybody play it on stream or anything. All right, two strikeouts away from Goose Gossage. Just about foul out four last week. I heard bad things about Fallout Four. How have you liked it so far, Andrew? Or is it is it like beta or something? Because I thought it didn't come out for a while. Second time I've done that today. All right, one strikeout to go. It's the old one. Oh, okay, 76 is the new one. That's right. That's right. I knew that. How is it so far? That game I know people enjoyed, if I'm correct about that. Are you planning on getting 76, Andrew? I've never played any of the Fallout games. All right. GG, Goose is mine. Here we go. And I might play a ranked game, but I really don't want to change my lineup. So we may just get Mercy here. All right, here we go. Goose is the most disgusting grind in this entire game. The grinds on this game have been ridiculous. But Goose has been the most disgusting. And he's now mine. And 7,000 stubs. Look at that. All right. 82 control. Looking good, looking good. We're going to get what's-his-face as well pretty soon. Eckersley. A little bit more control. He'll be up soon. Nice, nice. Makes perfect sense because seven, 76 has to be 1 after 4. Exactly. It's like uh, going from 360 to 1. That's why we play PlayStation, right, boys? All right, get out of here. I'm just going to put, like, Immortal Griffey in or something. 
who do I not want in here? Jackie. And I don't want him in here either. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go shortstop is going to be my diamond. And because I really don't want to refresh all of this stuff. We're going to go Yogi here. And we're going to play rank seasons. Haven't played it yet. I never finished Red Dead 1. Got to do that first and break out the PS4. Nice, nice. That'll be fun, though, like, going right from Red Dead 1 to 2. But I didn't, like, uh, I didn't know Red Dead was such a big game, like, the first one. Until, like, recently when 2 came out and there was so much hype about it. And, of course, it looks amazing, so can't blame you. What is this for? Your initial team? I'm trying to do a couple. I'm trying to do, like, Jackie and Cal. I just have a little bit left to do for those guys. And then I'm trying to do uh, Future Stars as well. All these iPhones come in Windows from 8 to 10. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Of course I get Carson Fulmer. <laughs> I forgot to take him out. That would that would have been one that I would have taken out. Of course I go Ful Carson Fulmer versus Phil Necro. That's awesome. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a bullpen game. I'm going to get a chance to break out Goose Gossage from the start. That's what we're going to do, guys. Goose Gossage is going to come in in the first inning. I'm about to go down to like... This, this guy's probably like rated 650 and I'm about to go down to like 800 from 901 loss. That would be hilarious if he uh, asks for a friendly quit. If he asks for a friendly quit, I'm going to say no. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. We're going to do it. <laughs> He's going to get a free win. Why are we playing in Polo Grounds, dude? Polo Grounds, I haven't played all year until, like, now. When I started doing these grinds where I have to get, like, home runs on All-Star with these trash players. And I've been playing on Polo Grounds all week, and finally I play a guy Polo Grounds for ranked seasons, too. I just said no, yeah. Because I don't really care about my, <laughs> my rank right now, so this guy's going to get a free win. Or I beat him, and he's going to be so mad. VR game. Three. Preston Tucker is a dead bat. Not Preston. Uh, Kyle Tucker. He's got like 80 something power. Even when you square it up, it goes nowhere. Alomar is betting fourth. Awesome. That's all we're going to do, guys. We're going to see how much the PCI really matters right here. This is the real test. We're about to find out how much the PCI matters. Common complete game. <laughs> Bruh, 9, 9k in 5 innings. That happens. It's against Chris Sale though, right? I pretty struck I'm I think I struck out like 15 times with Chris Sale on the bump before. There's a lot of lag in this game. It doesn't matter though, Jackie. If you're having good at bats, you can strike out however much you want. In fact, you can, if you're having a lot of strikeouts, you should take that as a reason to have better at-bats. Because instead of, like, personally, I'm like, alright, I don't want to strike out, and therefore I have bad at-bats because I swing early because of that reason. Alright, Gossage, debut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the title. All right, here we go. You got Yogi behind the bench, right? I mean, behind the plate. I've had trouble blocking the ball with Yogi for some reason. Hit a chipper, hit home run, one and two, nice. Wind blowing out in a 500-foot park. Is that us right now? All right, he's going to bunt. So not only are we giving him a distinct advantage, but he also feels the need to... 
mess around on the base paths, let's say. I would love for him to squeeze Brown out here. If he does, that's worse for him, better for me. Even if he scores. Yeah, so what was I saying? I was saying that sometimes I strike out. I don't want to strike out, so I have bad at-bats and swing early. If you're already striking out, then you can use that to your advantage and be like, all right, I don't care if I strike out. I'm going to go ahead and take five pitches here, get the guy out of the game early, or I'm going to wait for a mistake pitch. And if I strike out, I strike out because I know I might strike out anyway, even if I swing at bad pitches. You knew it was coming when he picked Polo. I thought he was just going to try to slap the ball over the the right field foul pole or something. But yeah, he's got Polo. He's got the trifecta right here. He's got he's got Phil Necro on the mound. He's got speed, cheese. That's not truly cheese. He bunted with a couple speed guys, and that's fine. Um, and then he's got he's got Polo grounds. He nails his fastball so much. Always hits the edges, yeah. So that's even more of a reason. I, I, I know freaking Sale can do that a lot, but just take a, take a few here and there. He's not going to do it for the whole game, that's the thing. And if he does, like GG, but 99% of people won't be able to do that if you're having the proper at-bats throughout the game. There's a lot of lag in this game. Should I try to go nine innings with Gossage? Javi tied it? GG. Finest JD hit a walk-off Grand Slam versus all Astros on All-Star. Sticking it to the man. All right, let's see if this gets out. Nice. GG, Joey. It'd be hilarious if we win this game. Carson Fulmer, common start was Carm, common card was starting on the mound, and here we are, with the lead. Gossage getting his first at bat. Let's see what he does here. I think I'm gonna dink it over the right fielder's head. I mean, the, the first baseman's head. I don't think I've ever faced a knuckleballer with the PCI on, so this is interesting as well. If you're going to you're going to win, but your energy is going to be destroyed for next game, that's fine. Uh, only because the next time I play a ranked game is probably going to be the beginning of the November season, where I'm going to be playing on All Star against people, and it's just going to be a slugfest anyway. Or I'm going to face someone that can't hit. And I get a complete game. Because at the beginning of the seasons, usually I get a lot of complete games. So I'm not concerned about it. Does energy carry over to the next season? I'm assuming it does. I'm pretty sure it does. But, um... Yeah, because actually, if you, if you take a card out... Like, let's say I, I throw this in a little gossage for nine innings, and then I take him out for, like, five games, and I put him back in. He's still going to have that low energy. So I have a feeling it'll still be the same for once a, once the season ends. I think Tyler O'Neill's playing center field. Let's see if he tries to go home. He's out. If he had a speed guy, he probably would have. JT Romuto, finest card. Why does Gossage have 15 pitches and he's already halfway energy? That's not good. I thought it would be a little bit more. 
But we're going to push him to his limits. He's going to go to zero energy before he comes out. He's playing second base. Alomar does not have the arm. Should I cheese him? Jackie, what inning is it? You gotta get this dub. I believe in you. I think if you get to the championship series, if you get to 800, it's a fully successful season. But if you get to World Series, that would be unbelievable. It's definitely worth a shot. There is Tucker's swing finally. I'll take that. That's what you get for playing in Polo Grounds, my man. Bases loaded, no outs. You're batting? Or he's batting? That's a pretty pe important piece of information. Ha ha ha. I don't usually try to cheese on that, but it is what it is. We're at a disadvantage today. Stay fair. Can we get a quit if it stays fair and gone? No, it's not far enough. A whole 250 feet. You, okay. Focus up, focus up. Don't respond until that inning is over. Just remember what I taught you in that clutch video. He's going to start not throwing strikes until he gets the two strikes and then be aggressive when or when he has uh, two outs. With no outs, he's going to stop throwing as many strikes. Threw a curveball at me. Nice. Wait. Does it say Raleigh Fingers Grind? Who changed it to Raleigh Fingers Grind? <laughs> we got the win. <laughs> oh, man. Who changed it to Raleigh Fingers Grind? Wolf did. Oh, he was in here for like a second. GG. That was wild. Yeah, he was 650. He was 650. I think I overtake Wolf there. That probably jumps me in the standings by like 30 points. I don't know where I'm at. 906. 141. At 901, I was at like 200. That's cool. Another win would probably get me top 30, top 50. I don't know if I'm going to play another one. Definitely not right now. And of course, he gets a home run next inning. Ouch. You choked? Oh, man. That was Swolf. Yeah, I mean, he's the only mod that was in here, so. I guess mine didn't register. All right, what time is it? 521. Probably don't have time for another game. Did I finish anything else in here? Active orders. Cinder guard's still there. Some of these random stuff. Freaking hater. Ouch, man. You got this, though. Chin up. Yeah, I, I hate using Ch Hater. I don't think he's a good pitcher at all in this game. Um, Who should I get? I can get three cards. I'm going to get Hater for free, right? Yeah, Hater for free, and then I'm going to get the two guaranteed packs, and then i got to get three more cards. I might get Nola. Probably going to get Freeman. Or I could invest and just get, like, Javi Baez. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that. I would need 300,000 stubs, um, which I probably will get at the end of the season, maybe. No, no, that's not true. We'll see. We'll figure it out later. But we're going to call it a day. Um, do you guys see anybody else streaming right now that we could raid? 
appreciate you guys sticking around. Hope you had a good time. BR run didn't pan out too much, but we did get a diamond, so that was cool. Come on, YouTube. All right, Tornado's uh, streaming right now, so we're going to go ahead and raid Tornado real quick. All right, thanks, Rob. I will see you around. We will stream tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what the details are yet, but probably later in the day, probably after 6 p.m. Now that the World Series is over, we're going to have some later streams from time to time. But, yeah, tomorrow, probably 7 p.m., and I'll see you guys later. Here is the link to Tornado. Drop a sub, say hi, and I'll see you later.